Feliz Navidad! My name is Yami and I am your Latina Next Door. Welcome to 12 Days of Christmas, where I share one Christmas DIY every day for 12 days. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of them. Today is day three. Before we start today's DIY, I wanted to let you all know that I will be creating a playlist for these 12 days of Christmas DIYs. That way, if you miss any of these, you can refer back to them and pick the ones you missed or just watch them straight through one to 12. That link will be in my description box below. All right, here we go. So for today's DIY, we're gonna be using these little birch cut branches that you can find in your floral section of Dollar Tree. Now you can use more or less. I just happen to have two on hand, but honestly, if I were to do this again, I would love to actually have three and make it a little bit larger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making a small wreath with this. And so what I did was I created the very first circle of the wreath and then also counted as many as I needed for the second layer that will go directly on top. Now, after I had them exactly where I wanted them, I began to hot glue them together. And at first, it's going to be a little bit wobbly with the first layer of little birch branches. However, when you add the second layer on the top, it'll all get nice and firmed because you're not only be gluing them to each other, but you're going to be gluing them together and you'll see in just a second. Okay, so now that the first ring is nice and glued together and stable, you're gonna start adding your second layer. And you're gonna wanna stagger these, making sure that you go over the seams of the ones below. This will create a much more stable hold. So what you will do is you will add hot glue to the sides of the little birch branch cutout pieces as well as underneath. So not only again are you gluing them next to each other but you're also gluing them down to the ring below. And once you do this you will see that it will not be wobbly anymore and it'll be nice and firm. Next, we're going to be using these LED emergency candles you can find at Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack. You can use these or you can use the regular tapered candles that you can just light up. However, I have little kids and I'd rather have LED battery operated ones instead. So the cool thing about these is that they come with this little plastic piece that you can glue directly on to anything you need and then you just place the candles in them and it'll hold it up. So this was perfect for me because all I needed to do was hot glue them onto my little wreath. Next, I took some poinsettias from Dollar Tree and I used some that just had a little bit of white glitter on them as well as some that had like this sparkly mesh on top of them as well and I thought they were a very nice combination. I wanted to keep this wreath neutral but of course you can always do colors that match your color scheme. So what I did was remove the poinsettia blooms from their stems. But before I glued any of the flowers on, I decided to take some of the greenery and use those leaves and glue them on either side of each of the candle holders. Then it was time for the flowers and I decided that I would do one mesh poinsettia 
next to each of the candle holders and then one white simple one in between the poinsettias with the little mesh. And I kept it even throughout the entire arrangement. And that was basically it for this. I kept working my way around, alternating with flowers, and I even added a little bit more greenery in between. And that was all there is to it. Now, traditionally, the Advent wreath has three purple candles and one pink one. However, for this arrangement, I did want it to remain neutral, so I went ahead and chose all white, but you can always do the more traditional version and do the original colors. But I do love the simplicity of this rustic touch with the birch on the bottom and the really pretty white delicate flowers on the top. Thank you so much for watching and as always let me know what you thought in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to hit like. I'll be back tomorrow with another DIY and as always you can customize any of these DIYs to suit your color scheme. If you're looking for even more Christmas DIY and home decor inspiration right now I'll go ahead and put my Christmas playlist up on the screen and that way you guys can check it out. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, adios!